What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, telling like T.I. is again. Uh, I just saw this story and I thought it was kind of fucked up about this football player now. And uh, it's kind of sad as fuck about to hear this story, but uh, it said, uh, if you look it up, it says uh, a North Carolina police officer was charged with voluntary manslaughter on Saturday. After police said he fatally shot an unarmed man who was, who had apparently just survived a car crash in Charlotte, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, and was looking for help. The victim, Jonathan Farewell, that's the guy you see on your screen, a 24-year-old former Florida A&M University football player, was shot multiple times and pronounced dead at the scene early Saturday morning. This happened Saturday the 14th. September 14th, Saturday. And uh, they said the 27-year-old officer, Randall Kenrick, Kenrick, turned himself into the police later Late Saturday, he was leased on a $50,000 bond. The shooting of Mr. Farewell was, it was kind of fucked up. The Charlotte Mockingbird Police Department said in a statement, our, our investig investigation has shown that Officer Kenrick, Kenrell, whatever, Kenrick did not have a lawful right to discharge his weapon during the encounter. According to the police, Farewell Rail crashed his vehicle into the woods, climbed out of his car, and walked a half mile to the nearest house. He began to bang on the door viciously. That's what they say. Charlotte Markenberg, police. Or, uh, police Chief Rodney Moore Monroe said it was quite possible he was seeking assistance on his accident. They said uh, the woman, but the woman who answered the door thought Farrell was a burglar and called police shortly, to, shortly after 2.30 a.m. to report an attempt break-in. Kendrick and two other Kendrick and uh, it was uh, Kendrick and two other responded officers surrounded Ferrer. and who immediately charged at the police. Monroe said one of the officers tried to tried and assisted to, to subdue Ferrer. With the taser, Kenrick then fired several shots. Fired several shots into into him. Several times. He immediately charged. Okay, yeah, multiple times. Several times, striking the individual multiple times. It was. It's with heavy heart and satisfaction the regret of it. To come to this, Monroe added, our heart goes out to the Jonathan's family member of the. And it say it says, according to the Charlotte police, it says, the police say Kenrick's action was appropriate. It's saying that, and awful, but that he tried to do the right thing, but. This, he sh he shot a kid. No, he didn't shoot a kid. He shot a 24-year-old. Moreau said there was no evidence Farewell threatened the woman. They said this kid, right, this dude right here, didn't threaten the woman. There was no evidence. Alcohol did not, did not appear a factor in the crash, he added. Two other officers involved. And it's, the, Look, what what it is is like is the key, the guy was in the car wreck. This guy, this Jonathan Fairweather, was in a car wreck. He was in a car wreck. 
And when he had to walk miles down the road to ask for help, the woman thought he was a burglar. And he and this man, Randall, Officer Randall uh, Keurig, shot, uh, shot and killed him because he was in a car wreck. And he was looking at because Jonathan was looking for him. Now, I ain't going to sit up here and say it's a race thing. I ain't, I'm going to leave that to y'all. I'm leaving it to the people to make that judgment. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave that to the people to make that judgment. Because one thing is, I ain't going to bring that up. If, But, uh, but for real, 24 years old, shot and killed. I feel bad for this 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 guy's family that he was shot and killed. Shot and killed because he was looking for help. Shot and killed. Damn shame, man. I'm telling you, man. Damn shame. It reminds me of another incident. But I ain't gonna bring up because there's gonna be people. How can you compare that story to this story? But it's sad to see that this man is dead. Dead because he was looking for some, for some help out there, car wreck. But and he gets shot and killed by this man, a police officer. Shot and killed. Killed. Dead. Kill dead because he this guy right here, this Randall guy, didn't know that Jonathan was looking for him out there fucking car. All he asked was for, for some for some for, for some fucking help. And the guy gets shot and killed. That shows you how much I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. I just don't get it, man. That's kind of messed up, man, to see this guy get killed for asking for help. And the guy that killed him got a... And the guy that... The killed him was the police officer. This guy right here was a fucking police officer and he gets out on bond. That's been people that kill somebody that gets out on nothing. I'm going to put the story in the description box and I want y'all to tell me what you think about it and what story does this remind you of? And you tell me what you think. I ain't going to sit there and say it's something something else but you tell me what you think about it. I think it's fucked up that a guy go asking for help, for help after he's been in a wreck and he gets killed that's, that's how I see it a guy asked for, got in a car wreck and he asked for help he gets killed now that's BS man he asked for help and he gets killed It's a damn shame somebody asks for help and he gets killed. Gets killed on Saturday, September 14, 2003. Died at the age of 24. Former football player, former A&M University football player, was shot multiple times, pronounced dead at scene early Saturday morning. Killed by a 27-year-old officer Named Randall Crin. Killed by this man. He 27 years old killing so I'm just this is just bullshit, man. This guy gets killed somebody. Kills a a guy asking for help. See that's kinda of fucked up, man. You can't even ask a police officer or anybody for help without getting shot and killed. That's bad. You can't ask for help no more without getting killed. Damn shame, man.
cop kills a fucking. I want this the, the this, this officer man. I don't see how he gonna live with his life, man. I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it how this... I ask for help and you get killed. Ask for help and you get killed. Yeah, I don't get it. I just want to know, man, what's what's wrong with this world? Can't ask for help without getting shot and killed. Can't go to the damn store without somebody following and shooting you. This guy right here kills a guy for asking for help. All right, man, that's, that's some bullshit. I know, I know one thing is that I'm never going to ask a, a police officer for some fucking help. I know that for sure. I'm afraid he'll shoot me in my fucking face. But that's all I got to say this, man. Tell me what y'all think about this. Y'all tell me what you think. Do you think that this Randall Critic Carrick should be, should have life? A police officer now. He's police and 27 years old in Charlotte, North Carolina. Should he get life in prison? Should he get death row? Do you think that this story sounds familiar, but further down south. Think about it, man. Tell me what y'all think about this. I'm Afro Joe, 10 like TA. It's find me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, Seal Jr. 2, Seal Jr. 3. Follow me on uh, Tumblr. Tell me what y'all think in a comment or video response. Peace, love, and Afro Grease.